see the brightness. Hello, I am live. Okay, yes. Welcome to Pepsi Craftsy's uh, Jewelry Hall. I am showing today, as I promised, some glass beaded um, beads. I just showered, my hair's wet, so I came out to the back and I put the fan setting facing me so I don't get hot. The sun just got out, so it's been really nice. It's been raining a lot in Florida, but it's I can't complain. I'd rather have the rain than snow, so... I am doing a jewelry haul, and um, I'm going to show some stuff like beaded glass, um, bracelets, um, necklaces I, I had a request from, and then some finds. I didn't buy it too much of the stuff, but I did get a ring, an Avon ring from my daughter. I misplaced it and I wanted to show it because this weekend was awesome. This weekend we had, it, it just went so fast. It was so funny because she knows I like Avon and I know she likes Avon too. So like mother, like daughter. And she bought a ring with the black um, here and the little rhinestone in the middle. And I fell in love with it. I was so happy with it. And I love it. I need to find it. I need to look for it because I take it off before washing the dishes so I don't mess it up and I have no idea where it is. Let me see if I'm, I am live stream so I can check. And then um, it's funny, the story is because I also bought from, who did I buy the ring from? I think it was Mama K. Yeah, I think it was Mama K because I got a package from her. And I bought a Avon ring for her as well. And it's one of the, yeah, and it's the one that's reversible that you can use it on the white stone or you can use it on the black stone. And it was her size, perfect size. She loved it. So it was funny that we both were exchanging rings from Avon. <laughs> oh, yes, I am on. Okay. So uh, I went, we went thrifting. I took her to the flea market. We had to do thrifting together because that's one of the things that we love to do. And we spent, we, I, I blew up a little pool back here for the baby and she enjoyed the pool. We even sat in there and we had wine together. It was, it was really nice. I always hear noise. But look, I found this little trinket. We went thrifting. So we went to the big flea market here that is called Rannigan's in Florida. Because we've gone to the Daytona one already. So I like the Rannigan's one because they have the antique shops in there as well. And it's a little trinket box. And it's a purse. And it's so cute. And this is how it looks. So I found that. And the lady, she didn't have too much jewelry out, but I went and I asked her to give me, did she had anything, um, uh, what's it called? Peacock. And she gave me this peacock um, earrings and I'm gonna use it in the project that I have to make little pill boxes and I'm gonna use this in the project for the pill boxes. They're really, really pretty. They're full of rhinestones. And the reason she gave it to me really cheap is because one of the wings are missing rhinestones. I say, don't worry about it. I'm gonna take it because I wanna use it for a project anyways. And then this glass here, it has a mark. It's Indian. It says Indian in the back and it's ceramic. And it's this beautiful, Indian, like mosaic um, pendant. Very pretty. That is really nice. And then I found the 
it's an adjustable one, real tiny, size five. And I found the ladybug uh, jelly belly ring. I got that one. Oh, sorry about the noise. Um, I'm, my neighbor is going to cut grass. So you're going to hear the lawnmower for a bit. So I found a ladybug ring. Real cute. Jelly belly. And it matches the brooch that I have. So while you're watching my video, if you have any interest in anything that I'm showing you, just uh, comment below the video and let me know. I did find a brooch and it's a Mark brand. It's a coral, but it has a little horse with wings and the letter C. So it may be an older coral. See that? You can see it. It says coral, but right here has a little ink, like a little horse with wings, and then the C for the copyright. So I'm gonna look this one up. I think that is awesome coral brooch, the clover leaf. Really pretty. It's not even a clover leaf. It's like a a fall leaf because it's real pretty. So those are the my um, my findings on the flea market. They don't really have too many people with jewelry there, like only new, up to date jewelry. Hi, Maury. Good morning. I'm outside in the sunroom. You're gonna hear lawn mowing because my neighbor just took out the lawn mower. <laughs> <laughs> so I happened to do the video when he's doing this. So I was just showing some stuff that I found in the flea market with Jenny. We went um, thrifting together. So I bought some stuff from Mama K. So I came out in the sunroom. I put the fan in front of me because this sunroom, it's like an oven. It's really hot. And I've been watching the tropical storms. I think I heard that the storms is gonna come by here. Like it's already on the, what do you call it? Uh, like number two. Thank you. What's beautiful? Did you like that um, Indian? I think this was the last one that I showed. It's a, from India. Oh, and the jelly belly. Um, ring <laughs> it's a size five so i got some stuff from um, mama k and i bought my daughter an avon ring and she bought me an avon ring so we both surprised each other with an avon ring do you have family in pr um, um my i have my sister-in-law with her kids and they go to school there and they they lived in puerto rico their whole life so they will never come to the States. So yeah, we do have some family there. So I'm, I'm sure we, we've been keep, keep posted if anything happens, you know, our prayers and everything, hopefully nothing goes bad. But um, yeah, my son was just talking about that. All we need is another storm to destroy Puerto Rico. And I hope not, you know, thank you. I hope not. So I found this. Um, I got this one from Mama K, and they're so cute. They're handcrafted imports, like Starcraft imports, and it's handcrafted from the Philippines. The guy is singing and cutting grass. <laughs> so look, look at these cute little parrot earrings. They're so adorable. So cute. So I got that one from Mama K. It was my package that I got. So my daughter was able to receive the ring when she came in. And then I got this cow brooch from Mama K. Why cow? I don't know. I kind of liked it. And then I got this one. A little bracelet with the stones. 
as pink, green, blue, and white. It's, it looks like a child size bracelet, but it does have the adjustable. Really cute. So I got that from that. Now I'm showing, I'm gonna show glass. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna show glass. Um, let me not block my fan because it's hot. I'll get a mustache and I'm not gonna be constantly like this. It's time for, to wash my grays. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a showing of the glass um, beads. It was requested. So I am starting with this one. I forgot to bring my neck piece. So this is all glass and it's bright orange with peach beads. And every single bead in here is glass. This is all glass from the top to the bottom. All these are glass. So if you see any glass beads that you're interested in, I mean the the closure and the and this has wear. It's you know it's aged, so maybe this can be changed. Like put a a new one of this adjustable chain, and then put a new class and jump rings, and it will look fine. But it's a beautiful piece. It has. I want you to see these beads has like, like kind of gold and like the sunrise it has kind of gold in there. You can see a little, and then you see that white, like silver. And it has like a gold wash on it. I don't know if you can see it. Very pretty. And then these are like that. So that's one. And then this one has glass and it's um, oriental, like Chinese, vintage. Everything that I'm showing is gonna be vintage. You should video him. <laughs> him singing. He has the headset, the head thing, so the noise from the low mower doesn't bother his ear. And then he sings. And look, this is glass. This bead shape is a flower. That's glass. This is glass, the elephant. This is glass. Everything here is glass. Glass, the eyeball. Uh, glass, the rooster. Really cute. This is glass, the Chinese hat. And then all these glass. And this is, this is the only thing that's not glass. I'm testing it with my teeth. Sounds like it's glass. It, yeah, it is glass. Everything is glass. So that's glass too. So this is vintage glass. Very pretty. So I have a lot of bracelets and a lot of necklace. So let me show all the bracelets first because I put them in the front. This is a glass beaded. Um, it may need restringing but it's a cute like baby blue glass beaded, 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 beaded bracelet with a little cross or saint, something like that. Yeah, with a Virgin Mary. It has a little Virgin Mary. I wanna see if you can hear him. Maybe when he gets closer, like on this backside. Because he's in the front right now. <laughs> you like that? That is cool, right? I had like two or three of these, and I don't know what I did with them. That is awesome. And then the gold bead right there. So the charm is the rooster. And then this glass bead with hematite beads, but... I like these, look at these. These are glass. And then these are the hematite with the silver tone. Oh, I smell food. I didn't even eat breakfast or nothing. I mean, it is already like, time goes so fast. This is glass, making sure. This is glass, but it's a seahorse and a stretchy bracelet. 
and a seahorse. Then this is glass and it's the blue. Oh, I just broke it. Maybe it was broken and I was using it for beads. No, I think it was broken and I pulled on the bead. I always do this on a video. When I'm making a video, I guess this beads will be for project. <laughs> and I, I broke it. I broke the bead. <laughs> I always do that. I always manage to go and everything's like all over the place. Now this one's interesting. This is vintage and look at all the colorful clustered beaded ball and they're all glass and it's a stretchy. It's very pretty. I The stretch is, it looks like new. It looks good in good condition. And this is how it looks on. That's so cool. I stood with this one because I love it. I fell in love with it. I like black glass beads too. And I don't have many. So as I go by it, I'll probably keep some. <laughs> and I really like this one. You can see all the color, the multicolors on it. Real pretty, like rainbow. And they're all glass beads. Real pretty. Very, very pretty, 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 pretty. Everything is pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> this one's with faux pearl and red. And it's the red beads are glass. And then faux pearl and silver big tone. And it's a stretchy and this one's like a big stretchy. Very pretty, very pretty. So all the bracelets I am putting to the side. And then I'll do all the necklace. Then I have a um, tiger eye pink with the toggle class and the cancer little thing. And I think this one could be silver, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check. Because it looks silver. Yeah, it's sterling. It says sterling right here, right there. So this is sterling and it is um, tiger's eye pink with the black beads, real pretty. Like the moon glow, see? It's tiger eye beads in pink and black. And I am a seven, so yeah, it fits me perfect. I might end up keeping this one and nobody buys it. So cute. I like the black and pink together. Actually, I I found a tiger eye, the brown one, like the real tiger eye. Real nice bracelet, like that thick. And it's like a cuff one. Or, and I stood with it because now I want I want to get me a tiger eye set. I need the earrings. I need the necklace because I already got the bracelet. So I'm going to get me the whole set. That's pretty. Cat's eye. Okay, cat's eye. Yeah, cat's eye, tiger eye. I think cat's eye and tiger eye are the same. Well, tiger eye is for the brown one and the cat's eye, I guess, is for any other different color, I believe. So you're right. You're right, Maury. These are pretty. Multicolor glass beaded to strand and it's connected. It has the connection. So you cannot take them apart. It has two connections right there. And um, nice stretch to it. Very pretty. And it, it has all these pretty blues. Blues, red, um, browns and different shapes. So this is all the glass um, jewelry that I'm showing. Yes. And then this one's black glass. And it's a stretchy one too. And all the beads are glass, the black ones and the clear one. And a bunch of bracelets. This one is has the lobster claw class. 
and it's blue with clear, real pretty. And this it has this cluster, this uh, bubble bead right here with the bubbles on it, real pretty. And sometimes they call these beads like blow blown beads, like air, when they do it with their air bubble kind of beads. I don't know the name for it. Actually, they're not clear. They're like kind of peachy, very slight peachy color, the beads. See it? They're not clear. And then with the blue. And they're all um, glass. I don't know how long I'm going to do this video for because I have a lot. I have this... This whole thing full of glass beads. So it has the lobster claw class. So let me let me jump it up. Let me like hurry up and do this. This one is awesome. And this one, I don't know if it's red turquoise or dyed turquoise. It looks like it's dyed turquoise or it could be ceramic. It could be ceramic, made it look like turquoise. But it's pretty and it's in like a, like a burgundy color with the gray mirror beads. Real pretty, big chunky. And they're nice and big chunk and it's, it's a stretchy one. Look at that big chunk right there. So it, you could see the white, so I think it could be ceramic. So I'm not gonna say it's like hell light or nothing like that because I could see the white in there and it looks like a ceramic. So I'm gonna say it's ceramic. And it has black beads and blue beads too. And clear beads. And then the mirror bead. So that's that one. Here's another one with the AB beads, um, like um, what do you call that? Oh, Araborealis, real pretty with the um, orange beads. They look like orange and white, like clear. And then the silver beads in between. It's very pretty, very shimmery, really nice. Araborealis. Araborealis. I'll do like Barbie does. This one's not in its best condition. It may need new the top of the ear, but these are glass. They're orange glass. You can hear it. The glass earrings. And they're pierced with the clip on in the back. But this has a lot of wear to it. Then I found another stretchy bracelet with the pink glass beads. And I like this one too. Look at the detail on it. As he comes closer, you're going to hear him singing. And look at that bead with a swirl and then some silver beads in between. Nice. I'm not even, is it a stretch? Oh, this is not a stretchy. You see this here? It's magnetic. So the closure is magnetic. Like that. And that's how it closes. Then I have this one, another Araborealis. And it has different kind of beads. Like, I thought this one was interesting. Look how pretty 
with the mirror of reflection. And then look at these beads here, the shape, the clear one. And this is all glass. Everything I'm showing today is glass beads. And very pretty, pretty stretch. I love the color. And I love this different shape of beads. And they're all in good condition. This one is very pretty. This one's a stretchy, but look at all those beads on that. I love it. This one looks like a cactus, like the top of the flower of the cactus and it has a little flower. That's what that one looks like. And look at all the beads on that. I love these. There goes a cactus one. <laughs> It looks like it. And then this one, so pretty, very pretty. It's different and it's vintage. Those are called, that's what they are, lamp beads. Yes, thank you, Maury. I need to write that down, lamp beads. Lamp beads are good money too. So I actually look this, let me look it up right now that I, oh, look at this red one. Lamp beads. Let me look that up. <laughs> You're so right. Thank you for letting me know, lamp beads. I know they were like those, those the ones that you make. Lamp bead uh, bracelet. Let's see how much they go for. Look at that. There's one right here, almost the same for $26. It was 28, they bought the price down. Multicolor lamp work bead stretch bracelet. Wow. So that's, that is awesome. I might end up listing this one. Take it to the side. I'm going to list it. Those are called lamp beads. Yeah, some people have them listed differently, like different prices. Even the ceramic ones, they're pretty pricey as well, too. And I have some cool ceramic earrings and um, and ceramic uh, necklace and bracelet. Yeah, the lowest price I would see like nine to seven, depending on the beads that they have, the lampwork beads. And those are real pretty and vibrant colors, like very light colors. So definitely I am going to list those. I just learned something. <laughs> here it goes. Ceramic one. Now this is ceramic. This chunk right here, it's ceramic. And I think this one too. Yeah, they are. Because you look inside, you can see the white. And then it has the silver beads in between. And then this red one, Could be wood. These are all ceramic beads and then the silver beads in between. But oh, this was so tiny. Like, oh, actually this one, oh, this is not a bracelet. These are one of those things that I, I Chatelaine, this is like, this is called a Chatelaine. I remember Barbie just sold one of these too. It's called a Chatelaine and you wear it, you pin it onto something and it's a vintage piece. I'm putting that to the side. Now these are bead, glass beads and they're blue. And these are one of those prayer ones, those prayer beads. Cause it's got this ball right here. 
And these look like lapis. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming. They look like lapis. Prayer beads, they're glass. Then these are little baby ones, and it's so cute, but they're glass, and I needed to show it. I hear, yeah, <laughs> which one you want? Yes, people that do beads always looking for deals on lamp beads because they are expensive. Yeah, they are very and very hard to find. Well, let me show this one till you tell me which one is it that you want. The same one you want. Oh, this one you want it? It's so pretty. I gotta let it go. It's going to Maury's house. <laughs> I don't know if it was this one or this one. Just name it. If it was the lamp beads, then it's yours. If it was the ceramic one, Chatelaine, let me know. Now I found this little child one and it has a little, the glass beads and plastic beads. It's a mixture, but it has this cute little Hawaiian flower and it has a turtle. The cute purple turtle. And it's, I don't want to put it on because it's a child one, real tiny. Uh, the one that you use on your shirt. Oh, this one, the Chateau, it's called a Chateau. I list one too. I found one in gold tone. Okay, I'll give it, I'll save it for you, Mari. I'll put your name on it. Actually, I needed some bags so I can put it there. So I'll put that separate and I'll keep the lamp on. My hair's drying now, so I got the fan on. I'm gonna let it down so I can dry because it's completely, completely wet. I'm gonna look crazy, but <laughs> I want it to air dry because I don't want to blow dry my hair today. All right. So I found this other one here and it's got the toggle class. And the glass bead as well. And let me show you the beads up close so you can see them in between. They have the silver one. So they're red and blue. And they look like hell light beads because it's got the veins. Except the red ones. The red ones. Red, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they have the veins. Red and orange. Like they kind of orange and red. Two tone colors. And it has the taco class and these are glass as well. Do you, did you move to the patio for good? Yeah, I'm emptying my room right now. And as I empty my room, I'm sorting out my my jewelry and I put all the gold tone or the silver tone all the beads so when I put it in the garage I'm able to find it because they have to go in bins all my jewelry is going to have to go in bins and uh, yep and then whatever I have listed then I keep it separate too so I have to put everything in the garage because um we're gonna we're gonna set up that room for my mother-in-law. She's but this weekend we already bought the bedroom set, so we're gonna set up the the room this weekend because we'll be leaving to New Jersey pretty soon. I think around the fifth of September. So that's why I'm not doing it. I, I might try doing an auction on Friday, 
before I leave, but I don't know if that's too much. I'm going to try and see and see if I get all my invoices in before and packages out before anything. Well, I found this other, but yeah, this is going to be, this is where I'm going to be doing my auctions. If my mother-in-law is not sitting out here, I can come in the mornings because it's a little cooler or in the night I can because there's no light out here. I have no light bulb out here. But this is going to be, I don't know where I'm going to do my auction. <laughs> I i don't know where my desk is going to go. Um, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But it is what it is. So these are ceramic and they're really cool. It's got that cool yellow with that peach ceramic. And then this kind of ceramic beads, the long one, real cool. These are different and interesting, really nice. They make a statement. Just by the yellow and, the, and then this, those three beads combined and different, it's really cool. I have no idea what kind of stone this is. I think they're ceramic. These are all ceramic. They're not even stones, they're ceramic. Cool, right? I feel your pain. <laughs> yeah. After I had my room all set up, that was my my room. I had two big armoires, my closet, a big, big closet to put all my bins in. And my uh, the big desk, I had everything all set up there, my printing area, because I also have an eBay store, but I keep all my eBay stuff in the garage and they're in bins organized or a cabinet in the garage and I can just look for them there. So I've been selling, I've been doing good on Etsy, selling on Etsy and eBay. And I also been doing really good. If you find any Givenchy jewelry, Da Vinci Jewelry, that sells really good and quick. I sold a necklace for $75, and now I have a earrings that I just found searching my bins. And I listed for $45, and somebody's already watching it. I have this uh, Aero, Aero Borealis bead and black with the gold tone rhinestone beads all the way around. This is stretchy. Oh, of course, it'll be fine. I just, I didn't want to lose my room, but you know, it, eventually, oh, 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 Eventually, I will get a room back again because it's either my son's going to be moving out pretty soon. So I'll have that room. And that is the biggest room, so I'm not even worried. Okay, my hair's a little dry now. Let me pick it up. Because I look crazy. That was it. There's no more cutting grass. <laughs> now this one's the big chunky one. And I don't know what you call these black beads and they're glass. I could see white in it, but they're not ceramic, they're glass. Big chunky, big like um like chips of uh what do you call that? Quartz? Is there such thing as black quartz? I mean, they don't look, they could be dyed. They could be dyed. See how they stick out? This could be a weapon. Why up? <laughs> uh, I want it to sing. You wanted to sing. 
What did you want to sing? <laughs> then I got this, um, these all glass beads and the little purple round, round ones and the heart shaped one and look how cute it is inside. Very pretty, it's got the swirls inside. And some silver. Like it's, it's a bead within a bead. Like a bead inside and a bead outside. That's what it looks like. And then the little silver. So these are glass with the elastic log class. And that is the adjustable chain. So this will fit any size. It's really big. I'm going to put it to the last, like to the second one. So I'm a seven, it'll fit an eight, a nine, or 10. I didn't bring my, um, my measuring tape. Then I have this, uh, I'm gonna do one of bracelets too, cause I have tons of bracelets. Um, like other bracelets, like beaded ones cuff ones. This one's really nice. This is the memory wire one and they're glass beads and it has that shimmer to it too. And then it has some um, silver tone little markings in there, like little charms and it's a shape as a flower. Actually, and there's nine to five and they have a marking on it from Salya TM. Satya, I think it's Satya, Satya. And it's nine to five. It has a marking nine to five. Let's see if you can see it. Cause I didn't bring my special glass. That's that's the flower. And then on the back of the flower, right up here in the corner says the name of the person, the company, and nine to five. Oh, how I want to ask you. You got me. You got me on that one. The Slay's bracelets, if you can find any more, save them. For analysis. The what? Which bracelets? I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of bracelets? Suede, you mean? Cause you put the slave bracelets. From Mayor. The ones that the ring is attached to. Oh, I bought one from Barbie, but it's the spider one. I, I just sold one. Those are the gypsy ones. You're talking about the gypsy bracelets. Um, they come with a bunch of chain here and they attach to the rings. Those, I sold one on eBay. And I have a necklace available. That's the gypsy dancing um, necklace. But I don't know if I have another ring, tall one with the ring. 
you can use it as an anklet or you can use it as a bracelet. And I just bought one from Barbie with the spider. So awesome. You were you were on Barbie last night. I saw you. Yeah, they're called slave bracelets also. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, if I find any other ones, I'll let you know. I know I bought the spider one. That was pretty cool. This one's all silver tone beads with glass beads, browns and black. And this is another one, one of those uh, memory wire ones. Sure, I'll save it for you. She likes them, right? This is glass. It's very pretty purple. You can always cut that string. And it had that, it still had the tag on it. But look at that pretty stretchy. Very nice. And this one, this one is, um, oh boy, let me think of the name. Ablum. Yeah, like abalone, but with the purple, you can see it, it's like, and it's glass. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, sure. I will definitely, because I'm always finding those for some reason, and I like them too. I mean, I don't wear them, I just like them too, so I can resell them. So the one I bought from Barbie, I'm going to try to resell it, unless you're interested in it. I'm hungry, Patsy. Patty, I'm going to get some. Oh, my God. Bring me one. <laughs> I need a Whopper. I don't have a car today because my son took my car. <laughs> go ahead. Go have your Whopper. Okay. All right. Yes, go eat. Look at this one. Beautiful. Arborealis Beads with the silver mirror one and this vibrant blue. Very pretty, and they're all glass. Beautiful stretch one. That's so pretty. And then I believe I am done with all the braces. Now it's time for the necklace. But I have this mermaid tail pendant glass with this Sparkle, like um, it has like a sparkle gold color and then orange in the back. Really pretty. Very, very pretty. Everything's so pretty. And this one's still new in the back, so I'm going to open it. It has a little bell. I love to treat you. <laughs> I have to get together. Yes, we do. We do. This one has a little bell. How cute is that? And it's on a string that you can adjust it to size like that. I just took it out of the bag. It was in one of these. I don't know why. And it has a ceramic piece, like a star in ceramic. Really cute. Really, really pretty. Really, really cute. Very easy to put on. And of course, I use my teeth. <laughs> and and you can jingle. Do you hear the bell? <laughs> and you can jingle. That is so cute. And now for the necklaces. So this, this. Yeah, these are all glass. These are glass. These are glass. These um fall colors with this big pendant and that I don't know if it's ceramic or what, but it's like glass too with the marble color green stone. See if you can see it. 
Very nice. And that's the back. And it has the nice detail. There you go. Now you can see it. Very pretty. And then it's beaded all the way up here and then the chain. Like you can see right through it. When the light, you can see right through this. So it is glass. You can see right through this. See it? And then I have this other green one. It is glass too. And these are another one of those um, lamp glass beads. Look how pretty those colors. Look at that. Very pretty. You wanted to see bead um, necklaces, so I am showing you all the bead necklaces that I put to the side. So that one's the green one. This is another glass, long one. They are all glass. Okay. And this one is also glass, a very nice fall color. And it's like a statement necklace, really pretty. Look at those beads down there, how pretty they are. And the browns and the whites and the yellows. And then the whites all the way up. Then I put this one in the baggie because this is very pretty too. That one goes really good with the green one. Or anything green, but it's one of these bracelets. Arabella, do you see? Arabella beads. Very pretty green color, perfect for the fall. These are nice fall colors too. And it's that's the very good condition. There's no strings or loose beads at all. I was ready to slip it in, but I might end up breaking it, knowing me. So let me just put it on the right way. It's very easy to put on. Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. And if nobody buys this one, I think I'm going to stay with it. I have an orange one, but it's different. I love the color on this one. You want this one? It's so pretty. All right, I'll put this to the side for you. And don't worry about price because you know I give you a good price on it. Anything you pick. I'm taking you for a ride. Oh, okay, be careful. Yes, okay. I put it to the side for you. <laughs> Thank you, Maury. Now this is glass and this is interesting. And if nobody buys this one, I would definitely list this one because it's pretty cool. I like these um, black and white beads in a different shape with the glass beads, black. They don't have any marking on it, but I think this is really cool, makes a nice statement. I always know that you are always happening because the most I love you too, Mari, of course. Always. I will always be. Here's another one of those beads. Glass. All glass. Just be careful. You're driving. Don't be answering me. If you say one, I already know which one. I'll just save it to the side. Look how pretty this blue. And they're glass. 
That's beautiful one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it has the lobster claw glass. But look at those beads. I don't know what these are. Like, they look like little faces. See, it looks like a face. But I don't know. They're really cool. And then these, they're all different shapes. So pretty, every single one of them. And I have to be careful I don't drop them because I, I have concrete back here. Concrete floor. <clears throat> oh, my voice. And another long one in red. Let me show you. With the silver in between. And this is nice and vintage with the silver wrapped. Now, this, this is very time consuming to make. To so individually wrap every bee with the silver. That's awesome. Whoever made this jewelry, did a beautiful job. And I know it took a long time. And then this is vintage because you don't see this anymore, this kind of shape, flat. And look at this one, how it's wrapped around. Really nice. That's the red one. Oh, my arms are getting tired. Then this one had something. I'm gonna have to take it out, but these are natural stones. It probably had a natural stone. Unless I put one myself and try to, because it still has the thing, you can fold it and put the, the glass stone, like the stone, you can put a natural stone one in here. And then these are stones. These are all natural stone beads. Real pretty. And it has this kind of closure, real tiny, real, real tiny lobster class. Has no marking. I don't see any. But the stones are really nice. Now you can see the color on the stones. Those neutral colors, real pretty. Then this one, it's on a string, but it is a, uh, a Hawaiian flower one and it's glass. These are not, yeah, these are glass too. So all the beads are glass, plus the Hawaiian one. And then this one is glass beads and the rainbow color with the hook class. Look at those pretty colors, vibrant colors. And then it has the um, cloisonne. Very pretty, cloisonne uh, pendant. That is beautiful. I'm surprised I haven't sold this one yet. It's really, really nice. And it's in great shape. There's no scratches because it has like a feel soft. Maybe it has like a glaze over it or something. But the colors are really nice. These are nice fall colors right here. That's pretty. And here's another glass one. This one is, the red is glass. And this is glass, but like seashell kind of glass. But the little dolphin, and a, this is an anklet, and the dolphin has abalone, abalone on it. It's an abalone dolphin, and it's an anklet. 
in red and yellow with the barrel class. This one's beautiful. Well, how you put it on? Oh, because I'm holding it wrong. How is this? Like, how does this go? Oh, I don't know. I think it was like this. It goes like that. Yeah, because the chain is, where's the, I don't, I don't understand it unless there's a piece missing. Well, I can't sell it, so I'm gonna keep the beads. Well, look at those beads. If anyone is looking for beads for crafting or making jewelry, I have tons, 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 you name it. Plastic, wood, glass, little beads. I have them. So this is another one to my collection. So this is gonna be a craft, craft one because I didn't notice that was broken. Still here, I know, I just don't want you to type. Go get your Whopper and enjoy. Have one for me. <laughs> Have a Whopper for me. That sounds so good right now. I wish my son was around. <laughs> With the car so he can pick me up one. You're making me hungry. Look at this. It's a ceramic piece. Oriental. Hand painted. With the gold dip. And then... These are plastic beads and it's on a string, but I thought it was just interesting because it is ceramic and it has the little signature back here. And the signature is like a picture or something. Well, I don't know. I can understand that. It's like scribble. But that is... Let me show you. That's very pretty. And it's in great condition. Very, very pretty. So I had that one in the bag because I don't want it to get scratched up. So I put that one separate. And then I had something else in the bag. And now I took it out and I don't remember what it was. An ant. What did I take out of the bag? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. This is glass. Gold tone. Very vintage. Like rubies. Ruby red. That's very pretty. gold tone long and does it have yeah it has a lobster class so it goes like this very pretty then this one is ceramic this one's cool too nice big chunky ceramic with white beads and silver beads and gold tone like antique Gold tone beads. Let me show you up close. That's how they look up close. It's pretty heavy because it is ceramic. These are heavy. Very, very heavy. And it has the, a hook kind of class. Then this one is like magnetite because they're beads, uh, magnetite, stretchy one. I have a whole collection of magnetite necklace. I'm putting them all in one bag. This one is glass, but it's like a... Uh, 
like ceramic kind of glass. And it's this bright orange with the peach. Very pretty. With the barrel glass. Then this one's on a, one of those wires. And I, I hate this kind. But I couldn't get rid of this because this one has wood beads and ceramic beads. Actually, I should put this with all the wood one because this is not, it has a mixture of wood and glass. Not too fun of that one. This one needs TLC, but it's a vintage one and it's tangled up with another beaded necklace. If I can get this out. I don't know how this got caught up in here. Then I gotta put all my beaded ones, like the small beaded jewelry necklace. But this is small jewelry. This is beaded, but it's not part of the glass one. But that's, it was just tangled in here. But this one needs love because the string has been through a lot. But this is beautiful. It's a butterfly one and it's ceramic, it's oriental kind. That's the back and it's ceramic. Ceramic. Well, that sounded like glass. Yeah, ceramic. And look how pretty is that butterfly. But the string, I tried cleaning it. The string is yellow, but it needs more, more cleaning. Oh, maybe stain remover will clean this really good. Well, that's pretty. Where is everyone today? I have no idea, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just showing what I'm showing and everybody can watch the repeated video. This one, I'm surprised I haven't sold it yet. And it's one of those prayer beads and there are rechangeable, like um, you can use it as a necklace like this. And they're halite beads. And the blue ones are blue dye halites. Very pretty. And you can use it as a necklace like that. Or you can use it as a bracelet because that's what it's meant for. I had the card for it, it's brand new with the tassel. That's very pretty. Feels good too on the, on the hand. That's how like. This one I thought it was interesting, but now I got tangled with something else. There you go. This one is glass. I don't know what kind of glass. It needs cleaning though. I need to clean it. After I clean it, I, I'm sure it will look beautiful. But these are glass and it has the beads, the rhinestones. That's glass, all glass, all the way up to the hook. And that's the back. It just needs some cleaning because it's dirty, see? But it is glass and it's pretty heavy too. This one's glass, all brown, 
glass beads with a button. And the button says 1GC, like that backwards. I don't know what that stands for. And this one's real pretty, and I love the colors on it. It's very vintage. Like, you can see how old it is with this chain. But look how pretty those beads are. They're moon glow beads. Oh, and they're glass. I never seen moon glow beads glass. Like I see them in plastic, acrylic, but these are glass. Moon glow. That's really pretty. And these are glass. And this one is on a long silver, it's a gold tone chain. The chain doesn't look good. Actually, it's all scratched up. I'm not going to show it. It looks like it was a hand painted one. Then this one has this kind of glass like that. And they're blue glass. Very nice, bright blue. And they're all glass. And then this one also has this kind of closed um, glass. And these are blue black and cream color white and they're all glass as well oh my arms are getting so tired icon but it has that cat's eye beads in the bottom little one little dainty one and this is glass too like a choker kind. These are glass beads. And this one's pretty cool. It's got the silver chain on the side like that, but that's how you wear it. And it has the double layer and they're glass beads in burgundy color, red. They're all glass. Then I gotta make sure I don't drop it because if it falls on the floor, that is it. Well, I want to go here. This is a glass heart with a swirl on a string. Lots the claw class. That's pretty. On my way home, enjoy your your whopper and have a bite for me. <laughs> Uh, this one got all tangled. And I don't need to be spending all day in this video. So I'm going to leave it like that because I wasn't able to take it out. But that's not part of it. I wanted to show this glass one. It's vintage. It has the light blues and the cream color glass with the purple. And these are all glass. Nice long length one. And then these cream ones are glass too. That's what I wanna show you. And they're linked with the silver tone chain in between. 
And then this one's like frosted. And these are not square glass. They're in very good shape. Then this one here, is it double? Oh, okay, I see. Okay. So it's double. And they're black with the clear glass. They're all glass. This kind of bead. Long with the small one. Lots of claw class. Then this one is plastic. Oh, that's, that don't belong here. Okay, here's a blue glass. I wonder if I have, I think I have a necklace to go with it. Cause I showed a blue glass. No, it doesn't go with it. But this one is a blue glass. Very pretty. It's got the little swirl around the clear one. And then bead within the bead. Very pretty, stretchy blue. It's got the stretch to it. I thought I showed all my braces, but they happened to be at the end. This one has a hook and the bead on it is really nice. And it's glass. Very pretty. That is all glass. So if I do my auction on Friday, if anyone is interested of anything that I show today, just let me know and to take it out because I will have this bin separate. This is purple glass. With the thread in between and silver. That is glass too. That is all glass. This is a cat's eye choker. And this is white glass, like milk glass. Very pretty vintage because it has this uh, kind of closure. And the shapes are real pretty. And it opens like that. Very pretty. That is vintage. And it's got some weight to it. Thank you, Mari. And these are ones, they might have scratches, but this is one that is like hand, painted on, but it's glass. It is really, really long, peach and cream color. And you can double layer it. Very nice. And that is all 
the glass um, beads to show how did this one snicked in there. The little grandma. So I put all that in there. And then I also have watches. Um, this is from uh, St. Jude Children Research Hospital. And it's a working watch. And it says hope. And it's running right now. So it's a cuff one. In case anybody likes cuff watches. Very nice. And I had this one too. Hi. All right, and you? What's going on? Yeah, hold on a second. I'm gonna end this streaming right now. So I will say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Okay.